Okay, the next 15 minute, 10 second game. Let's see how we get on here. If the opponent's going to move, it looks like it's going to a bot. Oh, no, okay. So when they take too long to start, usually that means we might be in a little bit of trouble. Okay, so we're going to try and block off whatever the opponent's going to attempt to do. As I've mentioned, I've been on this, this site for many years, on and off. So I know the type of situation. So I'm going to develop the knight. Potential for, you know, attacking the queen if they leave the queen there. Okay, so if we did bring this out, what they're planning to do is come here with a check, uh, sorry, a check on our king. So we have to be mindful of that situation. If we did capture, he's going to push down. So I think I'm going to continue with the capture. If there is the push down he's captured so we do have elements of being able to attack this pawn here with the queen so if we come and attack the queen and attack the pawn at the same time if they do capture the knights in a nice position so I'm going to take because they'll have an isolated pawn in the center of the board could look to block the pawn off I don't think there's, I think for me, my brain is going like this, oh, let's go and attack this pawn, but really, I don't think that's going to happen. The bishop's probably going to protect, and do we lose out in movement-wise? So I'm actually just going to push the pawn up here to open up our dark square bishop for potential castling. I'm going to bring the bishop here, still looking to potentially jump here, but now the knight's there, the pawn will just take. So at least we've got space to go and castle in the basic terms. Just keep it real simple. Okay, they're going queenside castling. Interesting times. So I'm going to attack the knight. And they've gone queenside castled anyway. So we'll queenside castle as well. We do have the x-ray through to the rook, but I think they'll just do a small potato move. Oh, they haven't. So if we did jump here, the knight takes. And then if we take, then he gets the bishop for free. So that's not going to work for us. What other benefits do we have? We do have the aspect of going here and then attacking the bishop. If they take with the bishop pies. Bishop's got a check on us. So I'll just move the king out of the way. Small attack. Maybe bring the knight back or bring it here. Or even to here. Which choices do we have? We have choices. Could attack their bishop. Let's just bring it back. Simple. So this pawn doesn't have any protection but we don't have anything that can attack it at the moment but we could bring the knight back up again. Let's attack their bishop with a smaller piece for a moment. Okay, let's attack the bishop again.
It's a bit sunny outside, we've got the door open. So I'll tell you the tape at the minute with plus one. Am I happy with my position? It's not really clear. Um, we have an open file here, but we've not got the rooks doubled up on that file. And our bishop's blocking our own way. So there's no direct link towards the king either. So it's not too favorable. I mean, it's got two pawn, well, it's got one pawn that's not got any protection on. And the bishop's gone for a protection, so we do have the rook that faces through. So do we look to try and get some type of attack thing going? I'm just going to bring this knight around with the potential of attacking their bishop, but they may just do a small potato move, which they have done. Okay, so we'll just bring this here. The rook is on this unprotected bishop. And they've gone straight attacking our bishop. So our bishop, we do have a bit of tempo, don't we? But we're going to have to block. We could go here, but his rook then attacks. His rook then attacks and then he's on our pawn as well. So we could end up just doubling his pawns. If our rook takes, then he takes, he's doubled his pawn. So it's a kind of weakness, isn't it? So I think we'll go with that. We're also on this pawn as well. So it does take, so we can take this with ideas of maybe getting a rook off the board. So we could do that, he moves, we take the rook, his king takes, then we can support the pawn. Um, is it looking too good? Let's go with that. Just looking to reduce down the pieces as best possible. If he leaves his king there, we can get, but he doesn't. So like we said, just support this pawn. Okay, so I think maybe we need to get the knight activated a little bit in the center. And get the rook opposite the king. Let's get the bishop off the board. I actually get that bishop for free because it's um it's got a check and we've got the rook supporting so if we go here I think his rook's gonna come so we need to bring the king across I think his rook will come here yeah so we need to get the king across to support our rook and then the knight can move I have a capturing here with a check capturing with a check on the king so the king will go up to defend the rook So let's just take it off because we have a minor piece up and we can take this pawn off the board here. Let's get the king activated supporting this pawn here. I mean we could start throwing this pawn up as well so I'll give them something to think about. And then just start moving the king this way. Supporting this pawn coming up.
okay that seems pretty straightforward in terms of the answer process working the pieces together that type of stuff